Hi, this is Zidane Studio and in this short video I'm going to share my opinion regarding our recent partnership of Shutterstock with an artificial intelligence company called OpenAI. Now this is something which cannot be ignored, it is of high importance uh, for the contributors in terms of how much money they could expect to make in the near future. So I wanted to discuss this with you and update you uh, to let you know is it going to be a good partnership for us or a bad one in terms of earnings. Similarly, what should we expect in the near future and uh, what should be our approach towards um, this phenomena? So for those who are not familiar with this um, news uh, that took place about two months ago, so let me take you to the press release that was shared by Shutterstock on, um, by the end of October, so it's sort of two months ago. So Shutterstock partners with OpenAI and leads a way to bring AI-generated content to all. And similarly, some other websites and media outlets also share the same news. Uh, and that you can check out this one, Shutterstock partners with OpenAI uh, to sell artificial intelligence generated artwork and compensate artists. Now this is something important to understand here. And I will make you understand this thing. Um, uh, you all are familiar that Shutterstock's minimum payout used to be 0.25 dollars uh, up till December 2020 if I'm not wrong. So it was quite a reasonable amount at that time compared to some other uh, stock agencies but then Shutterstock reduced it down to 0.10 dollars. Now this particular partnership of Shutterstock with OpenAI will most likely bring this amount further down and uh, I will let me explain to you that. Now here, uh, if it says that it's going to compensate artists be uh, because uh, initially you might have this fear that oh this is going to be designed by artificial intelligence so obviously the uh, contributors will not get paid. No, that's wrong. But the problem is that this is how it works and I will, ex I will actually show you how the open AI uh, works. So the artist compensation is going to be similar to, for example, there is this image gets sold and this image is um, generated by the artificial intelligence system. So this is how it's going to work. Some client or customer of Shutterstock will type something that uh, some person needs. For example, they might type uh, an astronaut riding a horse in the space, something like that. And the artificial intelligence system will generate an image of exactly like that. Now, um, the earning um, gained by selling this particular image will get divided among the contributors. For example, if um, this image gets some amount of money, uh, but uh, Shutterstock will not pay uh, whatever percentage it still pays to the designers to one particular individual because the AI system would have picked a horse from some uh, XYZ guy. Uh, the astronaut would belong to some other artist and the space background might belong to some other artist. So it's going to be a mixture of multiple artists. So um, in other words, this 1.0.10 uh, dollars might get further divided among three individuals or four individuals. I'm not sure how many. So for that reason, um, you can expect that the Shutterstock minimum payout might e drop even further and they could easily say that from the, and this is obviously beneficial to them in terms of business but for the from the contributors point of view uh, the single download per the, the minimum payout per download will not belong to one particular individual but actually it might get divided among multiple artists in case those images are part of that AI uh, generated artwork okay so for that reason I'm fearful that this amount will drop even further in coming um, in near future it might not happen in 2023 but for sure in 2024 because um, so let me give you a quick overview of what is open AI so it is an artificial intelligence company and this is their um, application Dell E that they are using at the moment and this is how it works um, I have this uh, okay so here I entered uh, new year 2023 design and I generated some artificial intelligence based artwork here so this is not impressive obviously but in some cases obviously this is in the early stages 
so uh, in some cases it really and uh, it, it is truly remarkable for example you could think of anything stupid to, uh, to write here and it, it will still work for example I was trying different things now for example this thing I tried a girl writing a pic or you could say painting of a girl writing a pic and generate it will take some time that's it did you see it has generated four images and these four are different from what it generated last time and you could try out different options here and it will still generate some images on its own like this whatever you will ask for so obviously this new technology is remarkable and it's quite impressive but uh, from the point of view of a contributor obviously it's going to damage uh, us uh, in terms of the earning potentials uh, for in the stock agencies and if it gets successful obviously other stock agencies are going to follow the footsteps of Shutterstock. Now um, my last point is um, I have already answered what should we expect so I have told you it's a bad news and uh, obviously you can expect a drop in your earnings once the system is in its place and good to go. Then what should be our approach? Now for this particular question our approach is obviously not to uh, uh, pray that oh uh, let's hope it fails no it's not going to fail it's already in an impressive state so you can only expect it to get um, better and better in coming days so our approach is not to rely only on these platforms okay that should be our approach first of all do not rely merely on Shutterstock or Adobe Stock try to um, develop as many sources of passive income as possible in the digital world whether it could be exploring other stock agencies uh, in parallel or maybe exploring the potential of videos uh, something like that I don't know uh, but it's important that uh, we must have some alternative um, sources of passive income even via digital means but in parallel to the existing ones whether it could be exploring some other stock agencies or maybe targeting videos I don't know uh, it all depends on your skill set and your personal circumstances but do not rely on one single platform like Shutterstock or Adobe Stock try um, keep um, try both of those and even add more uh, whichever ones are working for your particular type of photographs or designs or videos so that's it that's what I wanted to share you to update you and alert you regarding this new uh, incident of a partnership between Shutterstock and OpenAI and what you should expect in near future uh, this might happen within 2023 don't know maybe in the early months or maybe in the second or third quarter uh, but that's it uh, I hope you found this information uh, interesting and helpful and uh, don't forget to uh, support this channel by subscribing to this uh, and uh, like this video and drop any comments if you have some questions. Uh, Happy New Year and have a nice day.